Hey everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to create and control camera with After Effects. Also, I will show how to create realistic 3D image album animation and basically all camera movements. Let's get started. So friends, welcome back and first of all, after I create new composition, go to timeline and let's right mouse, new and camera. So right now we can change all settings here, but I will change only preset. Actually I use this preset for my animations and not any important changes for this camera. Let's click OK and click OK here. So right now let's create shape layers. Let's go to shape layers and hold this icon. Let's create ellipse tool and hold shift make one ellipse. Okay, and then go to again shape layer, hold this icon, select this rectangle tool and make new rectangle, click session tool. Okay, I have two objects, but camera is not see these objects. For fix this problem, let's select these two shape layers and click this checkbox for 3D layers. Let's click here. Right now, this shape layer is 3D. So, select the shape layer and press R. We can see here Z. Y and X rotations. Let's try change Z rotation and change Y rotation and change X rotation. Very good. So right now we can make 3D animations with the shape layers and we can make 3D camera movements with camera tool. Okay, that's good. For use camera movements, I want to controllers. So select this camera and go to here, hold this icon, and we can see here four camera movements buttons. First, let's select this first icon, and for shortcut, you can use C in keyboard. Let's hold F mouse. Okay, this is first controller. Let's control Z, go to here, again hold this icon, select this orbit camera tool. Let's see. Okay, very good. Let's control Z again. Go to tools, hold this icon, and let's use this camera tool. Okay, this is for pan animations. Left to right, or right to left, or up to down. Very good. Let's control Z. And finally, go to here again, hold this icon. Let's click for Z camera tool. This is for dolly and zoom animations. Let's see. Okay, very good. So friends, for make camera movements animations, select this camera and let's right mouse, go to camera and let's create orbit null. And select this null object. This is our camera movement controller. And let's hold control and double click palm behind icon for move to anchor point center. Then click session tool and select camera, let's move to up. Then we can make camera movement animations. Select null, press P and make new passing chain frame. Let's go to two seconds and let's zoom to our dolly animation. Change quality quarter and let's Press N for select work area. Let's say animation. Okay, nice. And select this camera orbit new. Let's hold shift press R, open rotation. We can make rotate animations with camera tool. Let's make X, Y, and Z rotation keyframes. Go to last keyframe. And let's change X rotation like this. And change Y rotation. And change Z rotation. Okay, and let's animation. Okay, very nice. So friends, I want to 3D preview for work 3D animations. Let's close keyframe settings and go to view. We can see here active camera. We can change this front or we can change left. This is my camera and this is shape layers. And we can change this top, back, 
and right and button so we have three wheel let's select first wheel let's see okay nice and change other wheel nice and last wheel so we can change shape settings let's select the shape 2 and press p let's move to back for depot field and select this shape layer let's move to center and let's see nice also we can control camera here select this camera okay also we can change camera angle very good so let's change view active camera let's see okay very nice also we can change view settings here let's click here and we can work with four views let's click nice and this is right view this is active camera this is top and front let's see okay very nice let's back to one view So friends, I want to make album animation with camera. Let's go to image folder, let's open image and select these five image layers. Move inside my composition and press S, change scale, close scale settings and right now select all layers and click this checkbox for 3D layer. Then go to view and let's go to custom view 1, select this image 1 let's press P and move to back and select image 2 press P move to back like this let's go to custom view active camera and change this top okay I can see here my image layers select this layer 3 press P move to back and let's move to left like this select image layer 4 press p move to back like this let's move to back more and move to right and finally select this image 5 press p move to back also let's hold shift for fast move to back and move to left a little bit also we can change these image layers let's move to right Okay, so change top to active camera and fill up to 100% and let's select all layers, let's close settings. Right now let's create new background, go to new solid layer, background and color like this, click OK, again click OK and move to back, lock layer for solid layer then let's create new camera again right mouse new and camera don't change any settings click ok and select camera let's right mouse go to camera and create orbit null again make someone hold control double click pan behind the icon for move to anchor point center click session tool and right now select this camera controller press p go to first second make new person keyframe and go to 10 keyframe let's zoom to here let's change quality quarter and let's move to left like this less animation okay select so keyframe of right for one second so i want to make background blur let's select this camera open inside open camera options and click default field on and change aperture 100 okay let's see so we have one problem this is not blurred background how to fix let me show a solution let's right mouse go to composition settings and go to 3d render and if you did cinema 4d change normal classic 3d then click ok and let's see and change focus distance okay change aperture like this ok 
okay we can change distance like this and blue lever 200 more distance okay let's zoom to here okay not bad and let's change coil to full let's zoom to here okay we're nice background blur net and this is net view so let's see and i want to make animation this focus distance let's make focus design keyframe and go to back or change quality quality and change distance like this let's say keyframe move to left and this move to here and change distance okay very nice and let's go to here make new passing keyframe for controller and go to some second or keyframes and let's move to left and zoom okay let's see nice and in this time make new fox distance keyframe go to here and chain distance like this okay again background image is blue red okay very nice and again go to some keyframes make new person keyframe and go to one second and again let's zoom to here and move to right okay very nice let's select all three frames make easies nice how to make cinematic movement with camera tool let me show select this money image layer let's move to inside conversation and let's create new camera right mouse new and camera click ok select image click this checkbox for 3d layer and select this camera let's go to controllers hold this second select this controller for zoom to z and let's zoom to image then go to here select this other tool for change rotation or view okay let's press c i can control we see these controllers let's zoom to more Okay, and let's move to left then select this money let's press P make new passing keyframe and go to six second let's click station 2 and move to left like this let's animation okay let's select the last keyframe let's move right for slow animation nice and in this time select this camera let's open inside open camera options and click depot field on and change aperture 100 and change focus distance okay let's change quality full and change distance okay and in this time let's change aperture 200 or 400 okay change aperture like this okay in this time make focus distance keyframe and go to here change distance like this okay this is very good and here make again distance keyframe go to here and change distance like this let's see very nice also we can add lights let's close keyframe settings right mouse new and light use point light and change color blue click ok and let's change view one select this light 
let's move right like this or here and change view to views okay and select here select active camera okay select this light let's move to left and press p make new passing keyframe go to last second and move to right like this let's say animation okay very realistic change view one and this change active camera let's see nice also we can change rotation select this money hold shift press air make z rotation go to last keyframe and change rotation like this okay more realistic okay let's select this light let's control d and right mouse and open inside light options change color red click ok and let's open inside here let's select these all keyframes two keyframes and let's move to the left let's see okay let's move to the right okay nice scene left side is red and right side is blue very good so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck